on the ground, it seemed like your transitions was going to battle the kind of positioning of Castillo. And on the feet, it was your aggression versus kind of more tactical approach. Is that the way that you saw it here against Castillo? I'm always attacking. You know, when I went in there and I wanted to throw some punches at him, uh, when he shot in on me, I realized that my wrestling was stronger than his. And I wanted to make sure that I could do it, but it was kind of confusing to me because I wanted to strike with him, but then I wanted to take it down to the ground. You know, I just got a new Furbish tattoo, a USA Wrestling tattoo. So I was thinking already in my second, in my head, I was like John Smith low single or ankle pick. But I didn't practice it enough inside the ring. So, hey, I pulled the trigger just a little too late. It was a really close fight. And, and I thought that Castillo had some better positioning, but you, had, you were closer to kind of finishing the fight. Do you think that was the difference? And uh, according to the judges' scorecards, that second round was the difference. It was that one the right. second round was different, but he was just laying on top of me. None of his top p positions, you know, he wasn't moving. He wasn't advancing. You know, I had lockdown in. I had half guard. When I realized that Herb Dean wasn't going to stand us up, I'm looking at him kind of like, hey, you going to do anything? No? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's when I shrimped to the cage, and then we reversed situations. This is what I prepared for, and I wanted to take opportunities out there so they knew that I could put the lightweight division on point. This is exactly where I belong, top 10.